Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to Kadabo Space Program, where today we're <laughs> not sticking to my original plan. I was going to do some more exploration today, but unfortunately with the holidays, I, I don't have a whole lot of time to record this week. So, we're looking at a visual enhancement mod, more specifically, the visual enhanced clouds and city lights. You can already see the clouds there on our wonderful Kerbal green and blue marble in the background with uh, some nice little specks of white for all of the cloud activity. So let us just go right on into our test save and yeah, take a look at what all this City Lights and Clouds mod adds to the game. So, first and foremost, let's head over to the Space Center and jump up to the Kerbal X. There we are, and take a look at the clouds and uh, potentially the City Lights from orbit. Now, as you can see, we are actually on the dark side of the planet at the moment. And yeah, you can see the clouds going by on the planet's surface. And you can see over there the beginnings of city lights. Let us time accelerate a bit here until we are closer over to these, or directly over them, rather. And you can see all these just beautiful city lights down on the planet's surface now which is just so <laughs> wonderful uh, because uh, it actually makes the planet feel like it's lived on. I mean, it's it's been one of the sort of pet peeves for the game uh, for myself so far is that the planet doesn't actually feel like an, an inhabited planet. The only life on the entire thing seems to be a space center. So... <laughs> <laughs> having these, let's actually head to the map for a better look. So having clouds makes the world feel more alive to me, and having the city lights makes it seem more realistic, more like there's something actually there. That our space program was built for a reason. You know, we've got all these wonderful city lights, we've got all the, you know different congested areas where there's larger cities, little sprawled out villages. I love the lights all along the coastline. It is, it's absolutely gorgeous and makes, it, well, it just looks so much nicer when you're orbiting above the planet and you see all these city lights rather than just a dark background of a planet with no light whatsoever. It's quite cool. And the, of course, the clouds add a very nice touch to the light side of the planet. Yeah, it just makes it feel like it's actually a real planet. I mean, y you got weather, you cloud activities, so forth and so on. And so yeah, I I'm quite pleased with this, uh, ed whoa god, what was it called again? Visual enhancement. Oh, wow, I can't believe I oh, couldn't even remember that. But <laughs> yes, it's, it's, well, it really does enhance the game in my opinion. It's just a simple thing, really, of clouds and lights. But it adds a nice touch of realism and believability to the game. So if we head back to the Space Center, and I actually want to show you one thing. Like, as you can see here, even though it is dark here, uh, we can't see the city lights. So it's one of the things with how they work is they work through the uh, LOD or LOD system that games use to... You know, the polygon count and the textures are different for that mountain way in the background compared to what they are here. And the city lights, I, I believe, rely on that to actually function. Because if we actually go to this Kerbal 2 rocket on the launch pad, we'll actually see that even though it is nighttime, I mean, we've got the takeoff light here for the launch pad. And uh, we can't actually see any cities in the distance. So if we just launch up real quick, still seeing nothing, nothing anywhere. And eventually it will pop up the higher up we go. Ah, there you go. You can start to see it there now, even though we've run out of fuel. And as you go higher, the lights get brighter and brighter. And it's, it's a nice touch, though it is a little odd that you can't see it when you 
are on the surface, though I guess it would be a bit weird because those textures are on the planet. It would probably be a little weird if you were driving a rover down here and there was just these odd bright textures. But, <laughs> yeah, you know, it could, uh, it could work. So actually, I want to take a look at something here real quick. Let's actually head back to the Space Center and go to a plane I believe I have stationed on the runway. Yes, there we are. The area is a 3A. And we're just gonna take this thing off real quick. As I'm actually curious, I wasn't paying enough attention to it on the launch. I'm curious to see how, or at what altitude, the lights actually become visible. Are my brakes on? Nope, there, oh, yep, 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 okay. Turn those off. There we go. And we are up and away. Let's hit the gears there. And right now, we are at, uh... Oh, God. Okay, okay. Uh, let's try and recover from this, maybe, maybe. Okay, there we go. Okay. <laughs> now, we'll find out the altitude at which the lights are visible if I actually survive the flight. As you all may know, if you've watched me for a while, I... I'm not good with planes. <laughs> yeah, we're at about a thousand meters now, and I am not seeing any city lights at the moment. And so, 1,200, still no lights. 1,300, still no lights. 1,400, still no lights. 1,500, no, still no lights. I thought we would start seeing something by now. And, oh, at about 1,700, I start to see them pop in very, very faintly. And as we approach the 2,000 mark, they're starting to become a lot more visible. So that would be at about the point. Between 1,700 and 2,000 is when the textures start to pop up. And as you go higher, they get brighter. So that, like I said, if you are flying low or driving a rover, you don't just, you're not driving over these odd lit textures. But as you're up in the air, you know, it actually adds a nice ambiance to it, uh, even when you're just flying a plane like this. I'm, uh, I'm quite happy about that. It, it looks cool. It adds a, <laughs> a nice touch to the game, in my opinion. You know, it's, it's nice actually seeing some life on the planet. Uh, for a change, that is definitely a cool thing, and uh, I do appreciate it. Which is why I, you know, I, I do really like this visual enhancement, and I'm going to keep it on my other saves. I'll definitely keep this loaded on the game as, well, it doesn't uh, affect my frame rate any, it seems, at all. And, uh, well, it looks just cool. But one thing I want to actually do is let's revert to the launch pad. I want to check something with the clouds. So let's keep the brake on and do a little time acceleration. And, oh, yeah, there we go. We have cloud movement. Very nice, excellent, I do like that. I was wondering if the clouds were attached to the surface like the lights are, but no, we, we, they do appear to be a separate layer just above the uh, ground. And yeah, if we fast forward to daytime, hopefully to see them a bit better. There we go, we have those cloud textures going through. Oh, which is interesting, if you actually notice as the larger clouds go across, it is just like a single solid texture and it's uh, like a cutout almost going across the thing. So like you'll notice that that texture right there doesn't move, it's just what's visible moves across. So that that is cool, that is a nice addition. I do like that, I'm quite happy. Uh, with this nice uh, visual enhancement. And if you guys would like to try it out for yourself, you can go and do so. And I will include the uh, link, as always, in the description. Well, once again, it's the visual enhancement, clouds and city lights. And I, I definitely say give it a try. It really adds a lot to the game. Yeah, it makes the world feel a bit more alive and, well, just nicer and more realistic. <laughs> and especially, it will make your space stations much more interesting orbiting the planet because you'll actually be able to see something with these city lights rather than just nothingness. Uh, so yeah, I'd say give it a try. And well, I hope you have enjoyed this short little episode here today. 
And of course that you come back for the next where I will be back to our normal exploration and whatnot. Like I said, just with the holidays, you know, family in town, all that, I do not have a whole lot of time to record and process videos. So I do apologize for that. Next week we will be back to normal. Uh, but yeah, I hope you do come back for that. But until then, thank you for watching, my friends. And as always, have a good one.